Okay, so my main tactic for catching things today will be flipping things for snakes. Okay, we've got a snake. The biggest garter snake I have ever seen. This video will be about the Eastern Garter Snake. Make sure you stay till the end to discover a rather surprising piece of information about this friendly backyard snake. Now let's get started. The Eastern Garter Snake is a color variation of the common garter snake. Despite their abundance, they can sometimes be pretty hard to catch because of their speed. They almost always have a hole or crack that they can easily escape to. If you do manage to grab one, you will probably get bitten once, especially if it's a big one, but they usually calm down pretty quickly. There are the occasional garters that will fight back until you let them go. Rather than laying eggs, garter snakes give birth to live young, and they are ready to fend for themselves as soon as they are born. The eastern garter snake is found in the eastern United States and goes as far north as the southern tip of the Hudson Bay. These are very common snakes that are seen very frequently throughout their range, especially in the north, where they are the only snakes. Eastern garter snakes begin their lives as extremely tiny neonates at less than 10 inches in length. Snakes this small can only eat small worms and invertebrates, but as they get bigger, they focus more on frogs, small mammals, and even fish. Garter snakes can reach a surprising length of 4 feet, although they are usually seen about half that size. While eastern garter snakes are the most common snakes throughout most of their range, they aren't the only snakes, so it's good to know how to tell them apart from the dozens of snake species that may inhabit the same areas. Garter snakes and ribbon snakes are the only snakes in the eastern United States that have stripes running down their backs like this. The stripes help them blend in with the grass as they slither around. Telling different kinds of garter snakes apart is when it gets a lot more difficult, and for that, I recommend a field guide. Now that you know a lot about these garter snakes, you might be considering trying to find one in the wild. And here's where to look. Everywhere. Any kind of trash or rocks could have a garter snake underneath but they prefer relatively flat objects that get a good amount of sunlight. The closer to a body of water you are, the more likely you are to find a snake. Also, garter snakes are active during the day, rather than being nocturnal, so you could even find one out and exploring or warming up. Garter snakes are commonly seen around or even in houses. Places that I've seen them are in a window well, crawling through long grass, and under various rocks or boards. Now for that interesting fact that I promised in the beginning of the video. Garter snakes are venomous. Although it is completely harmless to humans, garter snakes can be considered very mildly venomous snakes because they produce special saliva that can help kill their prey. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I'm Micah. Subscribe, learn more, and go herping.